Good afternoon and salam ibu petiwiku. Protesters denouncing corruption paralyzed much of Haiti's a capital Sunday as they demanded the removal of President Hovenan Moyes, while police reported two people killed and five injured caused by gunshots. Demonstrators burned tires and threw stones during the march in Port of Rims, and travel between some cities was impeded as protesters blocked road with cars and stones and other large objects. Protesters were demanding further investigation into the fate of funds that resulted from subsidized oil shipments from Venezuela under the Petrocarib program. A Senate investigation recently determi determined at least 14 former government officials allegedly misused $3.8 billion under the administration of former President Michel Martelly. Meanwhile, in Kazakhstan, police arrested hundreds of opposition protesters on Sunday at polls to elect the country's first new president in 30 years following the departure of historic leader Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. His hand-picked successor, Kasim Jomat Tokayev, 66, was a shoe in to win the vote contested by six other candidates. Tokayev, who is a career diplomat and interim president, is running for the ruling party with backing from authoritarian Nazarbayev, who stepped down from the presidency in March. The 78-year-old strongman's departure shocked Kazakhs who had lived under his rule since Soviet times, but he is still expected to call the shots in the oil-rich Central Asian state. Nepalese authorities who control the world's tallest peak are facing a huge challenge of retrieving the dead climbers on Mount Everest and sending them back to their home countries. A government-organized cleanup team retrieved the body still in climbing gear between the Everest base camp and the South Coal at 7,906 meters this climbing season. More than 300 people have died on the mountain since expedition.